And then going further, we have tooltips and popovers. So let's do, a, let's take this button. And we say we want it to be a tooltip. And PineGrow will offer to add the necessary JavaScript code for activating tooltips to the page. I say yes, add the code. Write something useful like this. And let's switch off display helper so that we can see what's going on. Now when we hover the button, we see the tooltip. And there are different options. Uh, let's change the placement. So now it was on the bottom, let's do it on the left. And for some changes, we have to refresh the page view in order for these settings to take effect. And now the tooltip is on the left side. And popovers work very similarly uh, to tooltips. In addition to the main text, like the title, we also have a subtext. Let's enable. And again, PineGrow offers to add the necessary code. And we say yes. And if we go into test clicks mode, where the page will actually handle our clicks instead of selecting elements. Okay, so now they are overlapping. So here is our tooltip, popover. Usually you would not, you would not have tooltip and popover on the same element, so that it's just our little example. And then we also have a toggle section where we can um, tell Bootstrap what action, what toggle action to perform when the element is clicked. And usually like for tooltips and popovers and also for models, PineGrow has uh, nicer controls, more user-friendly, like, like for tooltips and popovers. So we don't really have to set the toggle properties directly.